In this video you will learn some lesser known facts about Alfred Nobel. After Alfred Nobel's passing in San Remo on December 10, 1896, the unexpected establishment of a special peace prize under his name sparked immense interest. Alfred Nobel rewrote his will to donate more than 90% of his life earnings to create the symbol of respect and honor for those who have made contributions to peace and the betterment of mankind, the symbol that is now known as the Nobel Peace Prize. Meanwhile, Alfred Nobel's reputation was closely tied to massive destruction, inventions designed for warfare, the most well-known of which was dynamite. In fact, in addition to developing rockets, cannons, and progressive powder, he wanted to create a machine so powerful that it would render war impossible due to its devastating effects. He believed that the destructive power of weapons could potentially end war faster than making peace. Nobel did not live long enough to witness World Wars I and II, where his theories were disproved quite radically. Yet one cannot help but wonder what could have happened at the end of his life to cause him to invest so greatly in a peace-related cause. Others, like Albert Einstein, asserted that Nobel wanted to clear his name and alleviate his guilt by establishing the Nobel Peace Prize. In fact, Nobel rewrote his will directly after his brother Ludwig died in 1888, and a French newspaper accidentally published an obituary for Nobel that referred to him as the merchant of death who made a fortune by finding ways to kill more people faster than ever before. While we can only speculate about his motives, we see how public opinion can easily be bought in our world. Today, most people know Alfred Nobel only for his contributions to peace, and the darkness of his past is largely overlooked. Unfortunately, money speaks, and if one can afford to pay a few million dollars, public opinion can change for the better. In much the same way, mass media is bought as well, 